Well, fall has arrived at Little Mount Lavender, and this morning our L Bottom is spending the morning out there showing you everything you can enjoy. Hey there, Elle. Hey Claudia, we have moved on over to the bath section of Little Mount Lavender again here with Jason Woodleaf and I think this is our favorite spot here at Little Mount Lavender. It's a very popular spot. Oh, it's definitely the corner to hang out on. That's for sure. <laughs> that's probably wildly inappropriate, but moist this time of year though after we've abused ourselves in the sun all mm -hmm. summer long. Now when all that moisture comes out of the air in our houses from turning the heat on, get ahead of it Yeah. with body butter and body oils and things like that. Mm -hmm. And we were talking earlier about the healing balm for the yes. elbows, cuticles, things like that. It's just compact. It's easy to just put on. It's not overly greasy. It soaks in. It feels so good. Yeah. But adding to our gift basket we were talking about <laughs> starts with soap. It does. Don't use drying soap. Mm -hmm. It all starts right there. And then washing your hair with a body wash that doesn't strip behind us. Yeah. And then lotion. Yes. And little known, but bath salts actually are great for bringing yes. moisture back into your skin. I feel like that's very underrated for a lot of people because you think, oh, like I'm sore, I'm achy, I'm just going to take a salt bath, but really you can use it all the time because it's not super harsh, right? Absolutely. So actually Epsom salt, mm -hmm. when it gets in your skin, not only do you absorb tons of nutrients and minerals into your skin, which is great for you, it encourages your body to absorb water mm. because the salt is in your skin and draws water into your uh, skin when your body is processing all of this. And it actually draws it from uh, externally into your skin and helps moisturize your skin. Everybody mm -hmm. thinks salt dries. Right. Salt actually doesn't. Wow. Salt actually pulls that moisture out of the air mm -hmm. and into your skin, helping you to moisturize your skin as well. And then also the lavender and the other healing stuff that's in there of course. helps on top of that and a little bit of lotion afterwards and you feel yes. all slick and smooth and feeling good yes because <laughs> I know we were talking earlier my hands get so beat up on like when November comes around all my cuticles crack all my knuckles crack so the balm I can just keep in my purse and just yep. swipe it on anytime I need it super right? easy just throw it on those hot spots mm -hmm. and then lip balm as well from the lips dry out it's all because we turn the heat on yeah we take all the moisture out of the places that we're in on the inside and the humidity outside goes down when it gets cooler outside so mm -hmm. all of that normal moisture we would have in the air is gone. Right. That's why a good bath with the salts is great. Yeah. Starting with a good soap, lotion, and then using things like balm, lip balm, body oils. To maintain it. Yes. To keep it in Before there. Before you get overly dry, start now. I always miss the mark and my legs start to get dry. <laughs> because someone keeps the house at 75, right? <laughs> yes, true, he knows who he is. Um, but yeah, start to dry out. So turn the humidifier on, or like we talked about, even using a little diffuser, mm -hmm. you know, for essential oils, using a diffuser, it throws a little bit of moisture in your room as well. Right. But you have to get ahead of it mm -hmm. before it's too late, then we're struggling and suffering. Get right. ahead of it now, start doing your routine, and hopefully avoid that dry. Right, and you have so many different scents. As you can see, this whole wall is just covered with so many, and it seems like all of these are your number one sellers because you just keep them stocked <laughs> and replenished all the time, right? Yeah, obviously lavender goes number one, and then we have, people will start uh, picking up the coconut right now because mm -hmm. they're trying to hold on to summer. Right. That'll pick up, we're like, okay, coconut's probably about, no, then it kicks in again. <laughs> the sweet pea and the lemongrass and all those will kick in for that last hold on to the summer mm -hmm. scents and then lavender obviously and chamomile is great for this right. time of year especially for the elderly mm -hmm. when they get uh, in the evenings get called with sundowners a little depression mm -hmm. in the evenings chamomile is a great way to combat that mm -hmm. for those folks well, it is full-blown fall here, and I do know you have some mums and pumpkins outside. Oh, yeah. So coming up next, we're going to check out what's on the back patio. Back to you, Claudia.